consider Nintendo a sport, but, but Nintendo players say it takes skill, it takes hand-eye coordination, it takes quick reflexes, and there are Nintendo competitions, Olympics, nationwide competitions. Home sales, home video sales are now $5 billion a year, and Nintendo owns 80% of that market. Who plays Nintendo, you may ask? Well, half of all Nintendo players are between ages 6 and 15, and most of them are boys. Welcome to the Petkoff home in West Los Angeles. 12-year-old David has his 12-year-old friends, Tony and Michael, in his room to play Nintendo. Oh, yes, his kid sister Robin is tagging along, as kid sisters tend to do. The obsession? Super Mario Brothers 3, the hottest Nintendo game around. Who's more famous to you? Mickey Mouse or Super Mario? Mario. Super Mario. Mario. Look out, Walt Disney. So what's the attraction? Because you go like adventures, you gotta beat people, and all this. It's sort of like an adventure, big adventure. Yeah, you feel that you're in the game mode for me. It's, it's fun. And what's it take to be a great Nintendo player? Practice, you just gotta play a lot, and buy the books. What's this, books? That's right. Nintendo players buy books and call Nintendo hotlines to get advice on how to improve their games. It's, it's like a challenge and, and you, you, have, you feel you have to, you know, finish it. So you just keep going. Yeah, you can't get rid of the game until you finish it. He's okay. got this kid at our school named Jude. He's a Nintendo freak, I'm serious. He's got Nintendo pins and he's got the magazines and... He's got the watch. He's got the teeth, you know. The <laughs> watches you can play? I know he's got those little watches. Those are neat. Now, oh, if okay. the kid doesn't play Nintendo, is he a square? No. He's a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> and get this. Kids routinely play two, three, four hours of Nintendo a day. Okay, Tony, do you feel that playing too much Nintendo hurts your schoolwork? Yeah. Because I don't do my homework sometimes. And because of that, parents are urged to keep Nintendo use in moderation. Tell the kids they have to do their homework first before Nintendo, or Nintendo only on weekends. Do I play it? Do I compete with them? Uh, sure. And I always win. Uh, because I have my hand on the plug, remember? <laughs> the fastest growing group of Nintendo players? Young adults. This is my first game ever. I was humbled quickly by young Michael. But look at my eyes, glued to the screen. No blinking. Oh, I see. When the player points over that, you got to move that guy. All right. Yeah, wherever the box is going. All right, all right, all right. Excuse me. Why do you think kids are the best Nintendo players? Because they're young. They're young. <laughs> Their fingers move fast. She's having a spaz attack over here. <laughs> Tomorrow, yuppies, young adults, take to Nintendo. And I might add, right now, at the beginning of this year, one out of every five homes had Nintendo. By the end of this year, one out of every three homes in America will have Nintendo. That's how fast it's going. How long did it take you to get blinking again after that? I don't know. <laughs> you, you look at yourself, you realize you're a zombie staring into that screen playing. It's scary stuff. All right. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Bring We're Todd Donna. Oh, there he's jumping around with his Nintendo oh, Mario. special. Oh, Come on, Mario fans. you got to hang up for a second. got a few things to talk about first before we talk about our Nintendo. If you really want to be good. That's why most Nintendo players are boys age 6 to 15. But the fastest growing group of Nintendo players are young adults age 18 to 44. 35% of all Nintendo players are age 18 to 44. And that's where we begin our story today. Hi, I'm John Bruno, and I'm a Nintendo addict. Hi, I'm Derek Broussard, and I am truly a Nintendo holic. Hi, I'm Frank Wicks, and I'm a Nintendo addict. Hi, I'm Cindy Wicks, I'm a Nintendo widow. Now, granted, Nintendo home video games are primarily a kid's sport, you know, for ages 8 to 15. But in recent years, it's really catching on with the so-called yuppie crowd. You know, 25 to 40 years old. There are actually competitions like this one, in bars, with prize money. I think it's, uh, it's a fad. Yuppies like to spend money, and uh, you definitely can spend a lot of money at this. Uh, there's a new game out every week, it seems like. The graphics. The, the games are so realistic that I'm, I'm hooked. I can't stop playing. Yes, the graphics, the advanced technology, the sound effects. Greater playing capacity is fueling the growth of Nintendo. And people like Magic Johnson are lending their names to video games. 
It's everything as far as basketball and more. And now you can take Nintendo wherever you want to go with the Nintendo Game Boy, pocket size with interchangeable cartridges. More than five million will be sold by the end of this year. A lot of my friends, they think they're good, and I think I'm good, and we just sit back for hours and just go at it. And how many hours a week do Nintendo junkies go at it? He only spent about uh, two hours a day, so four days a week, eight hours a week. Eight hours a week? Are you married? No, I'm married to the Nintendo. Well, we've been together about a year and a half, and I don't have any complaints, so it looks like they'll definitely fight. And if Nintendo divorces you, you don't have to pay alimony, No, so. that's the best thing about it. Just throw it out in the garbage when you're done, you know? <laughs> Me and my buddies, we have a little tournament at home, and I, I go over there after work, play a couple hours almost every night, if I'm not going out on a date or something. Do you ever feel like you're wasting your time playing Nintendo? Actually, I do. Before I know it, it's like 12 or 1 o'clock, and I haven't accomplished much. Five or six is uh, usually what I think I play, but um, she would prefer less than that. Your husband, Frank, says he plays about five or six hours a week of Nintendo. Is that true? No, it's more like five or six hours at a time. What's it like being a Nintendo widow? A lot of um, listening to, rah, 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 you know, the, the music is the most annoying thing, I think, of the whole thing. I think it subtracts probably from our marriage. It subtracts time from us, but it keeps me happier when I might be doing something else, I guess. <laughs> At least I'm not with another woman. <laughs> Until they come out with a Nintendo affair, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. The, the merchandising of Nintendo is unbelievable. They've got game cards here. This one, a guy sent me. It's a, it's a thumb master, and it's a it's a it's a rubber tip, and you put your thumbs in the thumb master so your thumbs don't get hurt pushing the buttons. Well, you wouldn't want bruises. That wouldn't help out at all.